Hello everybody, Bradley here, and today I feel like doing something a little bit different, so we're gonna head over to reddit.com slash r slash civ to react to the top post this month in the civilization community. If you've never been over to Reddit before, you're going to catch on pretty quick. It's either a super cool online forum split nicely into categories that you can enjoy, or it's the absolute cesspool of the internet. It's only one of those two things, but let's hop in. We are here, r slash civ, the civilization forum. We're going to go to top. We are going to go to this month, and we are going to see what we get. All right, first one here, the price of management, <laughs> the little worm, it's 3.12 in the morning. We are, we are uh, or in the afternoon, look, who knows, but I'm gonna guess based on the lighting, we are one more turning at 3.12 classic. In the blurred sacrifice to barbarians instead of automate exploration, and then the guy clicks it. Look, don't automate your scouts, don't do it. You will sacrifice them into barbarians. <laughs> That's very, very funny. 6.9 thousand upvotes. I should log in, I should make a Van Bradley account to upvote this. I don't have a Van Bradley Reddit account, but this is awesome. All right, I have returned with a brand new Reddit account. Van Bradley was taken, so we went with Van Bradley. It was all I could think of without it. I hate underscores and stuff and usernames if I can help it. It was the only one I could think of. Leave me alone, but we are upvoting that. That was hilarious. I don't think we can comment yet because our account is new, and I think that's a thing. All right, next up, this mountain range probably holds the secret codes to access Atlantis. I doubt it. I think... I think this mountain range holds the secret plans as to why Firaxis created French Eleanor. Because there's no logical reason to create French Eleanor. There's at no point during the creation of French Eleanor where all of Firaxis weren't like, man, are we about to annoy every person that plays this game? They knew what they were doing. They, they have a reason for it. That reason makes no sense, and that's why it's hidden under the fog of war in this mountain range. On a side note, this desert's looking like fat for a Petra. And you put the Petra over here. That's not good. It's not as good. There's some good districting happening. But why is Eleanor annoying and why is it hidden in this mountain range? Moving along, 15% of people are either playing this game wrong or lying. Can you play a session of this game in 15 minutes or less? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> these people he's right uh, these people don't play civ what on earth is have have an upvote what on earth no you cannot play a session of civilization in 15 minutes or less in most people's computer this game doesn't even load in 15 minutes get out of here you can't you can't thanks for your feedback is you no. no 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 write in the comments below if you have played a game of civ for less than 15 minutes that's ridiculous Reasonably, not like you turned it on and got bored, but like you went, you had 15 minutes, you checked the watch, and you're like, I'm gonna play Civ with this 15 minutes. Get out of here. Got a Crystal Redentor during a sandstorm. It literally began when it got finished. Oh, <laughs> not gonna lie, that's the coolest thing I've seen on, on Reddit in a while. This is beautiful. There's 500,000 members. Join. 580 or 485,000 crazy. Anyways, this Cristo Redentor is beautiful. There's a Colosseum nearby as well. There's some fi fires burning in the background. This is haunting. This is hauntingly beautiful. I'm scared. I'm scared for what's going to happen in the next turn of this game, but this is gorgeous. Ooh, I like this one. This turned into a decent Friday evening after all. Exclamation point to let us know that it was indeed a decent... I'm going to say, looking at this photo, it's a little better than decent. Wait, we got a cat here. I'm allergic to cats, but cats are cool. This is cool. A little cute little kitty bed here. We got a glass of red wine. We got ancient computer speakers. We can work on this, but that's okay. And the keyboard needs some work as well, but the cable management is good. That's fine. We got spaghetti. I, between the spaghetti, the red wine, the cat, and playing Civ, this is more than a decent Friday evening. All right, apparently we have a video for the fastest deity victory ever. Let's check it out. All right, who's ready? Game starts. Oh, does he declare war and steal the settler? He does. You can see it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Perfect. And then you get the uh, you get the achievement. Win a regular game as Cyrus. You probably also get the achievement for winning a game on Deity. Absolutely legendary. That's so funny. For those of you who have not won a game on Deity yet, this is your calling. This is what you need to be doing. This is hilarious. That's so funny. And then you can say you won a game on Deity. Look. Look, you did. This guy did. That's so good. I love that very much. Gets an upvote from me.
And Kin Shi Wang wept, for there were no more cities to conquer. This is... This is impressive. I suspect a lot of bombers were involved. I suspect a lot of giant death robots were involved. This also takes a lot of patience. Like, you've already won the game a thousand times over, and this is just extra mean. This is just extra mean. Also, you conquered all the city-states, too. There's only three left. This is wild. This is crazy. Accidentally made escape from LA. I love this one. The whole thing's on fire. The, the bridge isn't even connected on this side. You got the Statue of Liberty here as well. You got to zoom across. But you're going to have to like final destination, yeet yourself off the end into the tundra. This is just, there's a lot of things happening here. I won a culture victory one turn before being defeated by giant death robots with 42 culture per turn. Oh my goodness. Look, I am not here to knock anyone in Civ ability. It is just impressive to win a culture game at turn 157, which is impressive, but with 42 culture. How did this happen? Who are you? You're Egypt. Oh, this must have been a quick game. Yeah, 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 yeah. 250 turns. That explains, that explains the giant death robots. Very faith focused. It looks like good faith economy here. 42 culture per turns lacking. We're not even at cultural heritage yet. And we don't even have a themed building because there's not this boost here. Oh boy. How did this happen? 308 out of 308. Oh, there's a lot of wonders. You can see all the wonders. Oracle, Taj Mahal, Mabodi Temple, Petra, Temple of Artemis, Apadana. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is a stomp arena. Look at that. And there's the win. Right before being murdered by giant death robots. Oh man, clutch in the paint right there. Who's this? Jaquan 108, have an upvote, well done. 26 days ago, too. Almost didn't make the video. <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Just at war with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other sibs. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Oh, that's so good. I love that so much. This is the simple kind of meme that just makes me so happy. I'm into everything about this photo. This photo is the perfect encapsulation of what playing Civ is like. That's incredible. You earned this Nobel Peace Prize, Plavain. Oh, how cool is this? Which Civ would I play on this map? Which Civ would you play on this map? Okay, so we got the Firaxis swirl here. Tundra on the outside, desert on the inside, kind of normal. Can you play this map? Is there, this map is available. <gasps> Oh, viewers of this YouTube channel, you know that we're playing a game on this Vortex map. What Civ are you playing? Because if you're in the middle here, you're on the desert, but you get trade routes, like the water swirls out and around. So there's always kind of a way in. It just takes a while. Hmm, what Civ are we playing? You could The desert civs work really well for this. I think some of the normal civs in this terrain, maybe over here, work well if you can hug the coast. Dido is obviously a great option. I'm not sure what the continent split is, but Spain might be a good option. Portugal is going to be a great option for this, depending on how the trade routes go around. Lots of room for canals as well, so you might be able to get some canals through here to make things work. Probably a lot of room for cities to act kind of weirdly to, to make little ports through everything. So I'm going to go... Oh, here we go. It's a little more information now. Oh, here's the continents. So there's like six different continents, Spain. But can you settle them? Yeah, reasonably, because you just... I guess you don't need to settle the continents of Spain. Mmm, this is tough. Spain, Portugal, Dido, Harold. Those are my picks. Indonesia, get the Jongs on side. Is it Indonesia with the Jongs? Yeah, those are my picks. What Civ are you playing on this map? This is incredible. A vote. <laughs> Timely with the Rings of Power coming out. One ring to rule them all. This is incredible. Look, I have ranted a thousand times over about how I don't understand how great walls work. The physics of them don't make sense to me in this game. 10 food, seven production, like 57,000 gold, a bunch of culture, loads of culture around here, vampire castle in the middle. Everything about this is lovely. Yeah, 24 culture, 36 gold. 24 culture, 36 gold on my vampire castle. Wow. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Nobody special, you're special to me. You're special in my heart. This vampire castle is special. So is this Great Wall. It's all special. 
Man, this Reddit hits. I've never been on here before other than to check out like individual posts I see on Twitter. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> One promotion for every privateer that's about to plunder your ship. Oh no, this guy is super dead. I don't like where that's going either. I don't like where that's going either. Any fun comments? In case people are wondering, I actually managed to escape with my skin intact. Having five promotions probably helped somewhat. Absolutely. Danlord1869, you're killing it. Absolutely. Well done, Danlord. Good work. Ooh, this is in my alley. What are some good little known tips? For example, you can find the coast by zooming in onto a river and looking which way the river flows. It always flows to an ocean. Can't confirm? Interesting tip. You can use your builders to improve tiles in a city state. Yeah, I did know that one. We've talked about that one a lot before. That is a good tip. Each time you send an emissary to a city state that you're suzerain of, it expands their borders by one tile. Yep, we knew that as well. These are good tips though. Look, if you are learning how to play Civ, these are great tips. There's lots of good little tips out there. Go on Reddit, join a Discord, hop into the streams, check out the tutorial videos, because you might learn something. These are all three great tips. Yeah, building a wonder. Look, look at this. Look, look at how much you can learn. Over 1,400 hours, and I never knew this. Jonah Colo 8 is learning so much. Building a wonder expands your border by two tiles. It always expands your border by two tiles. Every single time. Isn't that cool? What if we had a national park, but bigger? How big is this? Oh my goodness, it's four national parks together. So you have Halifax, Hamilton, Kingston, Kingston. The double Kingstons, the Hamilton, and the Halifax. Look, this is pretty much what Banff is like. This is Canada in the game here. This is pretty much what Banff is like. If you've never been to Banff, it's in Alberta, Canada, uh, closer to the west than the east, but not really close to the coast or anything. Up in the mountains, Banff, Jasper, Canmore, all those areas, absolutely beautiful. Go on TripAdvisor, check it out. One of the most stunning areas on planet Earth. Just an absolute treasure to visit. If you've never been to, to Banff National Park in Canada, this is basically what it looks like. I don't know if there's one, there is lots of wine there. I don't think they make wine up there. I think that's more of an interior BC kind of thing. But look, go to the national park, drink some wine. It's beautiful. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed us doing something a little different and checking out the Civilization Reddit today. If you've not been over there, go and check it out. It is a good time. I had so much fun recording this. I love trying to expand content into different types of content within the Civilization universe. I think that's super fun. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below. Let, let me know what you think. Have you ever been to Reddit before? What would you think of the video? Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.